Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I thought we'd have a quick look at the Lenovo IdeaPad Z500. I have to admit, in the past I probably would have pretty much skipped looking at the Lenovo range. To be honest, they look cheap, they didn't look particularly very well made. But this week, my stepson came to me, said he was looking for a new laptop, he had a particular budget in mind, so we decided to take a, yeah, a quick trip down to PC World and see what they, see what they had in stock. Um, after about 20 minutes of looking around, we ended up at the Lenovo IdeaPad Z500. It was within budget, uh, and on paper, it, uh, you know, sort of spec-wise, it seemed to, seemed to fit the bill. I mean, this particular model comes with an uh, Intel iCore i7 chip, 2.2 GHz and Turbo Boost up to about 3.2. Uh, 8 GB of RAM, terabyte hard disk, it's got a 2 GB NVIDIA 645 uh, GT card in it, which uh, it seems to be quite good. It's a mid-range sort of uh, DirectX 11 card. 15 inch display, um, it's got two USB ports, it's got one USB uh, 3 port. Um, so, let's have a quick, a quick look around it. Okay. So this side here, we've got uh, you know sort of headphones, your two USB two ports, and then we've just got a standard CD DVD drive there. Uh, on the front, just a couple of indication lights, and then on this side, power. Now this button here is quite it's quite a handy button really because when the laptop is off, if you press that, it will turn the laptop on and then give you some 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 options: uh, boot menu, go into the BIOS, uh, recovery menu, things like that. Which I think is quite a handy quite a handy feature. It's very simple and very quick. There we obviously have the uh, the heat vent, and then down here we've got uh, a VGA uh, port for obviously connecting to uh, second second monitor, which is what my stepson will do. Also, we've got HDMI connecting it to either HDMI monitor or your TV, anything like that. Um, and then here we've got the US, USB 3 port, and then we've got the card reader. So um, I've had a quick play with it myself, um, and it seems, you know, it seems pretty quick. It uh, loads quite nicely. It comes with Windows 8. Um, screen is uh, you know it's 15 15.6 inch screen it is a glossy screen um, so when you get a bit of light on the back you know you can start to struggle with uh, with reflections and things like that um, comes with a you know backlit keyboard which I think is very nice one thing I have noticed um, with the keyboard it does feel a bit spongy and also um, the actual keyboard area does sort of bow a little when you when you when you press not a big problem um, but you know, it's that's just one thing to be aware of. Trackpad again is you know is quite nice and big. Uh, it's quite smooth, quite responsive, uh, and firm left and right uh, clicks on that. Um, what else have we got? Um, that probably is a bit bit it for now. Um, what I will do is I'll run some benchmarks um, up around PC Mark Seven. Um, 3D Mark, probably 2011, something like that, and I'll post those results in the description below to give you an idea how quick this is. Um, but there we go. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe. If you've got any comments, or you'd like to know anything else about this laptop, you know, please post them below, and I'll do my best to, to answer them for you. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.